at first click load will turn on second click the load will turn off I will press this button load is off I will press again on this was follow up video for our last video number 1358 this video 1358A in this session we used two switches one to turn on this output that is this lamp and this one to turn off but in this session we will use only one switch that will be used to turn on and turn off the same load at first click load will turn on second click the load will turn off this is Hasib Electronics and I am your host Muhammad Ashraf I will welcome you on my YouTube channel if you don't have good experience in electronics never do this experiment because we are dealing with live voltage take care for the safety in last session we used this switch to turn on the load and second switch to reset it we used this switch to make clock signal pin number 5 that is D input that is connected to VDD pin we will press this button this high voltage 12 volt VDD will reach to output load will turn on when we will press reset button it will reset the IC and Q will low Q bar will high now we will remove reset we will use only clock signal CD4013 is dual channel that means two flip flop VDD pin pin number 14 3 volt to 18 volt we use 12 volt pin number 7 ground VDD pin number 14 pin number 7 ground we have two channels we can use any one channel this one this one or we can program both channels to operate separate switches both channels are independent from each other power supply lines are common but set reset data clock output that are separate from each other clock input we will use clock signal this signal may be from any micro switch microcontroller any IC this end positive 12 volt we will connect pull down resistor 10k when we will press this button the output will active high when it is high any data available at D pin data pin that will be transferred at output in our last case data pin was connected to high so all the time when there is high clock the output will high but in this condition at each toggle at each clock it will use Q bar output that is complement of Q output so Q bar will be inverted output pin number 3 clock if you are using second section then pin 11 will clock but this time we are using pin number 3 pin 4 reset now we are not using reset we will connect reset and set pin to ground in our case pin 4 reset pin 6 set we will connect to ground set if you are using second section pin number 8 will set 6 or 8 here we are using pin number 4 reset in second channel P4 
Pin number 10 will reset. Pin 1 output. If you are using second channel, pin 13 output. Q output. Q bar. Pin 2 for first channel. If you are using second channel, pin 12. That is Q bar output. If Q is high, Q bar will low. Let's suppose at first toggle, first switch, if Q is high, Q bar is inverted output, complement output. We will feed this Q to D input. In our case, D is pin number 5. If you are using second channel, pin 9 will D input. Either we are connecting first channel, for first channel pin 3, for second channel pin 11. Here pin 4, first channel, pin 10, second channel. Set pin 6, first channel, 8, second channel. Q output, pin number 1 for first channel. If you are using second channel, pin 13 will Q output. If you are using first channel, pin 2 is Q bar, pin 12 will Q bar for second channel, pin 5 D input for first channel, 9 for second channel. Now it is our selection, either we are using this one or this one. So I mentioned pin number for both channels, for output. We will use 1K resistor, we will connect to a transistor, base 2SC945, emitter grounded. We will connect a relay, 12 volt relay, 1 free wheeling diode, 1 and 4007. positive 12 volt in the output line 220 volt from normally open points we will use a lamp and here is neutral 220 volt live voltage if you don't have good experience in electronics never do this experiment because in this section we will use live voltage we will not touch these relay points because here is line input and here is load to display the signal status we will connect LED 1k resistor if Q is high LED will indicate relay will turn on and it will close these contacts and lamp will eliminate. Let's make this switch. In last session, D was connected to high. That is this. Pin number 5. Now we will connect to pin number 2. That is Q bar. In last session, Q bar was open. But now we will connect to pin number 2. Reset pin number 4 was connected to external signal pin number 4 1 2 3 4 This was reset signal, but now we will connect to ground We will remove this assignment Now this circuit is modified. The same configuration, just we connected pin number 5 to pin number 2 and we connected reset pin to ground. I will press this button, load is off. I will press again, on.
Now if I will press this button, load is on. We are using any lamp, any fan whatsoever. If I will press it again, load is off. At first click, the load is on. Second click, load is off. You can use this electronic toggle switch to any project, to control any device, to control any load. You can replace this micro switch with any microcontroller or any sensor whatsoever. If this video is informative, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.